for sale is my Fatar Studio 88. This is just a MIDI controller that doesn't have any sounds in it. You need a sound module, some type of sound module. I'm using my iPhone right here. And you can use your laptop, you can use your favorite DAW, Cubase, Logic, Ableton, whatever, Pro Tools. Or you can use another keyboard or a sound module. But uh, I'm using my iPhone, just using GarageBand just to show you. Uh, this is the electric piano on the in GarageBand on the iPhone. sound of an iPhone sustain pedal and that's it you know your power cord that's all for the back and on the panel here you have um, your split button and you have a lower transpose and an upper transpose so you can split this keyboard you just pick where your split point where you want your split point to be I'll just pick middle C. You press the split button. And now I'll split. It lowers the right half of the keyboard by one octave. And it raises the lower half of the keyboard by one octave. Why it does that, I don't know. But you see now the right half is, a, is an octave lower. If I go right to the next key, because this is, this is my split point. You see that you see it raised that up an octave. So if I wanna if I wanna bring this back to zero transposition for, for the right part of the keyboard, the the key you chose as your split point for the right half of the keyboard is is it would be your zero transposition key. So you press that key and you press your upper transpose button. It brings it back to an actual middle C. If you want to go any higher from zero transposition, you press a key higher. So I'll press the I'll press the C sharp here. I'll press upper, and now that middle C sounds like what this key used to sound like. That's how you transpose. So I bring it back. I press the middle C. Press the middle C and press upper transpose. And now we're back. Now for the lower half, if I want to bring it. So remember when we hit the split button, it raised the lower half of the keyboard by one octave. So if I want to bring it back, your lowest A for the for the left part of the split, your lowest A is your zero transposition. So you press the lowest A and you press the lower transposer, the lower button. And that'll bring it back to zero transposition. See if I play the middle C and the key right next to it and it, it flows right into it. Because remember the 
this is your split point. This, the, this middle C is your lowest note on the right half of the keyboard. So for the lower half of the keyboard, you cannot transpose any lower than your normal than what than what would be normal transposition. But you can transpose up. I can transpose up. So if I pick an A, I pick this A. I hit lower transpose. Now that moves everything an octave higher in the lower. If I want to go back to zero transposition, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird the way it works, but that's how it works. And just to demonstrate that it is it is split, and also when you split when you split the lower half of the keyboard has MIDI channel one, and the upper half has MIDI channel two. That's it. I can't demonstrate on GarageBand because GarageBand you can't as, you cannot assign MIDI channels well, on the GarageBand on an iPhone. I'm sure you can on a, on a Mac. I'm going to use a different program on the iPhone. It's more glitchy than GarageBand, but it'll demonstrate to you that it is, or it is indeed split. Let's see here. So, I think I already have a... So what do I have here? Alright, I have a bass. What they're calling what they're calling a bass on this on this app. I have a piano on the right hand. You hear that little glitch right there? But anyway, you can s I'll show you here that yeah, the bass is assigned to channel MIDI channel one. See right there it says bass light. Okay, and my piano is signed to MIDI channel 2. See, there's a Steinway Grand. So, so I have a... So they're playing two different, two different instruments because they're assigned to different MIDI channels. Should have picked a lower split point because I'm playing bass and piano. Uh, let's see. I'll, we'll pick this as our split point right here. All right. So uh, piano from here to bass from here down.
also show you um let's see I installed this other app called MIDI scope it'll show you that um that indeed when, when the keyboard is split uh, see I'll press a, uh, a C down here in the lower half which is remember the left half is, is MIDI channel 1 so as you can see it says note on C1 it tells you the velocity and then it'll say it shows you there it's on MIDI channel 1 Okay, I'll go to the upper half of the keyboard. I'll head, uh, I'll just pick a G right here, an upper half keyboard. And you see it says note on G3, tells you the velocity, and um, you see it says channel 2. So, so that shows you right there that the MIDI channel, is, when you when the keyboard is split, it is trans, the left half is transmitting on MIDI channel 1, and the right half is transmitting on MIDI channel 2. And go back to Garage Band. It has the nicer sounds. Yeah. yeah. Show you to make sure, just to show you that the key is working. Start it down here. And then I'll have to change it to uh, an electric piano, to a, an acoustic piano. Right. That's pretty cool for sound. Studio 88 MIDI controller, and uh, and also just to show you real quick, if I can, um, this this comes this keyboard. It's it's built. The case is built into the keyboard. I should say the keyboard is built into the case. It's a flight like a flight style case. The case. That's why it looks like it's sitting inside of a case because it's actually built into the case. And uh, this is the top. I can't really attach it right now because I have wires and stuff coming. But it, it just it just it just hooks onto the back, and it closes. But that's the top. And it's it's like a flight case, but that's uh that's uh, yeah. That's how this is. It's a uh, the case is part of the keyboard, or the keyboard is part of the case. So, thanks for watching. Fatar Studio 88 MIDI controller for sale. Thank you very much.